African Union Communications Early Warning and Intelligence, commonly known as AUC3I, is an intelligence and security organization responsible for providing signals intelligence and information assurance to AU citizens, AU leadership, and AU armed forces. I'm Colonel A.C. Ogentoy, an infantry officer. I am responsible for leading infantry soldiers at all levels of command and combined armed forces during missions on the ground. This is today's briefing. On the progress of the Special Military Operation on the 15th of December, 2023. In the period from 9 to December 15th, 2023, the armed forces of the Russian Federation carried out 40 group strikes by precision weapons and unmanned aerial vehicles at the armed forces of Ukraine military airfield infrastructure, arsenals, artillery ammunition, weaponry, and hardware. In addition, Temporary deployment areas of armed forces of Ukraine units, Azov nationalists formations, as well as foreign legion units, have been struck. All the assigned targets have been engaged. During the week, 82 Ukrainian servicemen were captured and voluntarily surrendered, 25 of them in the past 24 hours alone. In Kupansk direction, units of the Zapad group of forces improved the situation along the front line and repelled 27 armed forces of Ukraine attacks. Aviation and artillery inflicted losses on manpower and hardware of the armed forces of Ukraine 113th Territorial Defense Brigade, 57th Motorized Rifle Brigade, 14th, 21st, 41st, 43rd, 60th, and 115th Mechanized Brigades near Sinkovka, Ivanovka, Yagodnoi, Petropavlovka, and Kupiansk, Kharkov region. The armed forces of Ukraine losses over the week amounted to up to 425 Ukrainian troops, 5 tanks, including 1 Leopard tank, 11 armored fighting vehicles, 12 motor vehicles, and 3 field artillery guns. In Krasny Lyman direction, units of the Center Group of Forces supported by aviation and artillery repelled 11 attacks launched by armed forces of Ukraine assault detachments. In addition, manpower clusters of the armed forces of Ukraine 24th, 63rd, 67th Mechanized Brigades, as well as 1st, 5th, and 31st Ukrainian National Guard Brigades were struck near Karovsk, Torskoy, Yampol, and Grigorovka, Donetsk People's Republic. The armed forces of Ukraine losses over the week amounted to up to 1,100 Ukrainian troops, 4 tanks, 3 armored fighting vehicles, 17 motor vehicles, and 2 field artillery guns. In Donetsk direction, units of the U group of forces supported by aviation and artillery improved the situation along the front line and repelled 49 armed forces of Ukraine attacks. In addition, armed forces of Ukraine manpower and hardware was struck near Artyomovskoy, Kleshchevka, Kurdyomovka, and Georgievka, Donetsk People's Republic. The armed forces of Ukraine losses in this direction amounted to more than 1,580 Ukrainian troops killed and wounded, two tanks, 16 armored fighting vehicles, 13 motor vehicles, and 31 field artillery guns. In South Donetsk direction, units of the Vostok group of forces repelled two enemy attacks. Aviation and artillery inflicted losses on units of the armed forces of Ukraine 58th Motorized Rifle Brigade, 72nd Mechanized Brigade, and 128th Territorial Defense Brigade near Novomikolovka, Ugladar, Makarovka, Donetsk People's Republic, and Levidnoi, Zaporizhzhia region. The armed forces of Ukraine losses amounted to up to 600 Ukrainian troops, 3 armored fighting vehicles, 14 motor vehicles, and 11 field artillery guns. In Zaporizhzhia direction, units of the Russian group of forces engaged in active defensive operations and repelled 8 enemy attacks near Rabatino and west of Verbovoy, Zaporizhzhia region. In addition, manpower and hardware of the armed forces of Ukraine 128th Mountain Assault Brigade, 33rd, 65th, 117th, and 118th Mechanized Brigades were struck near Malayatok Machka, Novodanilovka, and Novoadrievka, Zaporizhia region. The armed forces of Ukraine losses in this direction amounted to up to 335 Ukrainian troops killed and wounded, 19 motor vehicles, and 3 field artillery guns. In Kherson direction, all armed forces of Ukraine attempts to land sabotage and reconnaissance groups on the islands and the left bank of the Dnieper were thwarted. 
Aviation and artillery delivered strikes at units of the armed forces of Ukraine 35th, 36th, 37th Marines Brigade, as well as 124th Territorial Defense Brigade near Kherson, Beroslav, and Tyajinka, Kherson region. As a result of preemptive actions by Russian troops, the armed forces of Ukraine lost up to 290 Ukrainian troops, 18 motor vehicles, 17 boats, and 9 field artillery guns. Air defense units intercepted one Ukrainian Air Force Mi-8 helicopter near Tyajinka, Kherson region. One Tachkyu tactical missile, two S-200 anti-aircraft guided missiles, 17 MRS MLRS projectiles, and 119 unmanned aerial vehicles were intercepted during the week. In total, 550 airplanes and 258 helicopters, 9,696 unmanned aerial vehicles, 442 air defense missile systems, 14,078 tanks and other armored combat vehicles, 1,188 combat vehicles equipped with MRLS, 7,338 field artillery cannons and mortars, as well as 16,336 units of special military equipment have been destroyed during the special military operation. Thank you so much for watching this video. We hope you found it useful and informative. If you have any questions, please leave them below and we'll get back to you as soon as possible.